Hello and welcome. This is Richard Nongard with Baki Graduate University and I've created this short video so that you can actually see a step-by-step -step process of how you can create your own simple blog. Now I'm going to use WordPress.com in this video and of course if you have any questions along the way you can always email me. I'm more than happy to uh, answer any questions. My email address is richardn at bgu.edu. But you can also rewind the video at any point and you can go back and see what I've done. And what you're actually looking at right now is a screenshot of my computer. And during this entire video, you're going to be seeing exactly what I do on the computer. So if you were to go to WordPress.com because you wanted to start a blog today, this is what you would find. Now, I'm going to address these things in class, but let me just point out a couple of differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. WordPress.com is totally free. WordPress.org is actually a set of templates that you install on your own existing web page with your own existing domain name and on your own existing uh, server or hosting account. And so WordPress.com is the fastest, easiest, and cheapest solution for having your own blog today. Uh, I use WordPress.org if you have your own uh, website that already exists and you have a tech person or you have the knowledge to do it yourself um, there are lots of videos on YouTube that can show guide you through that process I didn't find very many videos showing people how to use wordpress.com and so that's why I decided to uh, create this video now what you need to do is actually get started sign up and start publishing and so what I'm gonna do is put in my email address and my email address is going to be BGU blog sample at gmail.com well that's not really my real email address but uh, so don't send me email there but it'll work for the demonstration now let's go to the user uh, the username here I want something that's going to be really easy to remember so I'm going to make my uh, username BGU Nongard okay that'll be uh, uh, easy for me to uh, to remember and for a password I'm going to put in a password of uh, BGU 1221 explanation point because you always want a password that's secure by having a combination of numbers letters capitals and characters you have a pretty good password here and the blog address that they've suggested for me here is BGU blog sample at wordpress.com I'm gonna see if I can change that a little bit and I'm gonna change it to resource uh, here I'll change it to uh, BGU resource class dot wordpress dot com now here's the interesting thing when I put this in it gives me an option to pay them eighteen dollars a year to register BGU resource class dot com as a domain name I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna use the free version there are a couple reasons why reason number one um, there are cheaper, less expensive places to register a domain name. Reason number two, this is a simple blog that I want to get up and running, not only for a class assignment, but perhaps to communicate messages within uh, a certain area of my ministry. And, and so uh, uh, most of the people are going to access this uh, either through search engine results or more likely through a link I place on social media or from a link that I place in an email. And so people are going to find this website by going to www.bgu-resource-class.wordpress.com. That's a pretty long domain name. It would be easier for them to simply go to www.bgu-resource-class.com. But I don't think for the purposes of what I'm doing, my own domain name is essential. And I certainly don't want to pay $18 a year for it. If you're going to go that route, then utilize one of the resources that are available on YouTube to learn how to create your own blog on uh, uh, wordpress.org. So I'm going to say no thanks. I'm going to use the, the, free, uh, the free class or the free um, uh, blog address. And now I'm going to create my blog. So now I need to check my email. So I'm going to go over here to my email. And yep, uh, they have sent me an email telling me that I need to activate BGU resource class dot wordpress dot com
So I'm going to go ahead and activate the blog now. What this does is simply let WordPress know that I'm actually a real person, that I really exist. That's why they verify it with our email. So now I have to come up for a title for my blog. And let's say the purpose of this blog is to teach students how to blog. So the title of the blog is going to be a sample resource raising blog. And I'm going to come up uh, with a tagline. And the tagline I'm going to come up with is BGU is an awesome school. And uh, I'm going to use English. Now you can use just about any language you want to, which is really pretty cool. One of the values in this, for those of you who are missions, is you could create an English language blog for your um, uh, at-home viewers, if English were your native language. And then you could create a language for the country where you are living and working and you can actually have multiple blogs so now I'm gonna choose a theme now this is again where wordpress.com tries to sell me something which is not necessarily a bad idea but I think there are better ways to go about it so if you're trying to create a simple blog uh, I would just use one of the templates that they have available and this sort of gives you an idea of what they might look like uh, I'm going to pick 2011. That's the first one on the list. It's not the $75 theme that's over here. So I'm going to pick that and I'm going to go to the next step. And the next step is to begin customizing it. I can put a picture here. I can put various posts. I'm going to have my title and my tagline. So I'm going to go to next step. I'm going to create my first post. Let's see. In my first post, do I want text? Do I want photo? Do I want video? Do I want a profound quote? Or do I want a link to somebody else? Hmm. Here's what I think I'll do. I'll create my first post as a text post. Resource raising. And then I will uh, just put in some content. Here is the content about the resource raising course at BGU. It is awesome and teaches a lot. Now I can put paragraphs in here. I can put, you know, 500, 1,000 words, whatever I want to. Now tags are a way that people who are searching for certain things could find it. So I might tag this using a comma to separate them as BGU because maybe somebody's looking for BGU. Or uh, maybe I should tag this as fundraising. Or maybe I should tag it as uh, fundraising ideas. Or maybe I should tag it as missions. Or maybe I should tag it as all of these things. That would be fine. So now let's see. Let's proofread it. Uh, it is awesome and teaches a lot. Okay, resource raising. Let's publish the post. So now I have my first post. Yay, it's published. Now, let's take a look. This is still a control panel at what it would look like if I were just coming across the blog. So if I were just coming across the blog, I would type in BGU resource class .wordpress .com. Here's what it looks like to somebody who comes to view my blog. And here's my first post, okay? Right now, I'm leaving the stock image here, but it's easy to change the image. You can put any picture you want to there. Um, that's my first post, resource raising. Here's the content about the resource raising course at BGU. It's awesome and teaches a lot. Now, again, uh, this is what somebody coming to the blog would see. But let's go back to the control panel here. And uh, somebody can like it. Uh, I can reblog somebody else's blog. Uh, this is sort of where it's all done. Now let's go back to wordpress.com and uh, I'm going to go to my blog and uh, I have one post and one page. Now I'm going to create a, uh, uh, a, a new blog post. So, uh, well, no, that's, sorry, that's to create a whole brand new blog. I don't want to do that. I want to go up here to new post. And so I'm going to add a, 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 a photo here. So let me go to select photo. And I'm going to select a photo from. Uh, uh, I'm going to select a photo from downloads. I'm going to select a family picture. 
So there we go. I've inserted the picture. And I'm going to go over here to photo title. And I'm going to put non-guard family. And then I can photo caption it. Here is our family. They are dressed for Christmas pictures. And uh, I could put a link over here. So let me let me do it. So that way when people click on the, uh, this is kind of a cool little feature. If somebody clicks on my picture, they're actually going to get taken to BGU's main web page. Let me tag it. I always tag everything. So we're going to tag it as non-guard. We're going to tag it as BGU. Actually, let's not tag it as non-guard because I'm going to forget about this blog. I don't want people out there discovering pictures of my family that I'm not intending to post here. So let's tag it as BGU. Notice I've used BGU everywhere because I don't want these useless posts, unless you're a student in class, uh, showing up as Baki Graduate University. So uh, BGU, I'm going to type title, tag it sample uh, blog, and uh, I'm, I'm going to tag it as you know, Christian, uh, I can tag it as whatever I want to. Now I'm going to publish that post. So now I've posted a text blog and I've also posted a picture blog. So let's go over here to BGU resource class dot wordpress dot com. Here's what it looks like. My first blog, the oldest blog is at the bottom and the new blog is now right here. Here's a picture of our family. So if I sent you a link uh, to bgu-resource-class.wordpress.com, this is what the simple blog would look like. There's a stock image here. We could change that if we wanted to. I've added a picture entry, and then I've added a resource raising entry. So now what I can do is I can come back, and each day I can actually start a new post if I want to. Start a new post. Uh, today's post, I want a link to BGU. So I'm going to link to www.bgu.edu and I'm going to put uh, BGU is an awesome school. Let me give a little bit of description here. BGU is a training center for Christian leaders. All right. Again, I can put 400 words here, and I want to tag it. So I'm going to tag it as BGU. I'm going to tag it as leadership. I can tag it as anything I want to. Now I'm going to publish that link. Okay? So now here we go. I can go back over to here and check it out, which is what I prefer to do. But you can also just click on the view post, and it'll actually show you the post. But let's go over here, and we can see, oh, here's a link. BGU is an awesome school. And that's a link post. And so here's an image post. And here's a resource raising post. The idea of the blog is to create a place where you can essentially journal on a daily basis, several times a day if you want to, on a weekly basis. One of the things that this accomplishes is it shows that your ministry is active, that you're really participating in activities. You have pictures, you have links, you have information, all of these sorts of things. Now, there are archives over here on the side, and they are archived automatically on WordPress.com by the month. And so at the end of 12 months here, I can go back and see what's the ministry been doing for the past year. Anybody can do that. And it makes a great place to uh, show people about the uh, ministry. One of the things that I can also do uh, when I find other people's blogs who I enjoy is I can follow those blogs so that I'm automatically notified. Now, one of the things about this blog that's also true is that um, uh, somebody can come along and leave a reply. Okay, so they can leave a reply to the blog. Great job, Richard. I understand how to do it. Okay, and uh, post a comment. And I misspelled my own name, but that's okay. I know who I am. So now, if I were to go to the uh, resource raising blog, what we would see is a sample resource raising blog. This is the pretty stock image that they give us and it sort of rotates out. Again, you can and you should change it. Um, 
Here's my most recent blog post, which is a link. BGU is an awesome school. If I click on that link, I must not have, <laughs> I must not have typed it correctly. So uh, make sure you type in your, uh, your, uh, your links correctly. But nonetheless, it should take me to bgu.edu. Uh, here's the Namyard family. Here we all are. There I am, my wife, my, uh, my uh, five-year-old stepdaughter, my grandson, my, uh, my daughter-in-law, my uh, oldest son, my daughter, and there is my youngest son. So there we all are. And then here is that first post that I made, simply a text post on resource raising. And notice there's a reply. So I can go see the reply. Great, Richard. I understand how to do it. Awesome. And you can actually end up having a conversation here, uh, really kind of like Facebook or any other social media with people who visit your blog. That's how you create a blog using WordPress.com. The assignment for this class is to create a running blog for two weeks. Um, I'm going to ask you to try to blog at least twice uh, each week for the two weeks. So you should have at least four posts in here by the time we see it. Uh, and I'd like to see you actually blog more often than that. I'd like to see you really create an active effort to communicate your ministry to people by blogging every day. That would be awesome. But please, over the two-week period, uh, blog at least twice a week. And uh, when you turn in your blog for me to review, I will see then at least four posts. Uh, one of the other things that I want to stress as far as the assignment goes, and that is if you already have an existing website that already has a blog integrated, adding your blog posts to that web page is just fine. You do not need to, as part of the assignment, create a WordPress.com blog if you already have an existing blog. Just let me know what that link is. But again, this video should help you understand how to use WordPress.com to set up a simple blog that you can use in your ministry and in this assignment.